Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. Yes, my voice has gotten much worse, and um, I am still sick, but I will continue to record and do the best job that I can, because I'm still having fun, and I'm still hanging out with fans, and, and this is this is awesome. Like, we have a bridge to the Goldwood. I'm... I am super excited about it, and I just can't, I can't get over it. It's amazing. It's awesome. And, oh, oh, uh, who is it? This person here. Uh, wait, no, not that person. Is this person? No, not that person. Um, up here. Carissa, uh, B, V, 1, 1. Carissa B, V, 1, 1. Gave me five million dollars. Like, look at this. This is crazy. Thank you so much. Um, Purcell gave me a fire axe. And then uh, your YouTuber, some he was telling me that they'd gotten scammed. And I'm like, oh. They asked, can you do anything? Can you help me get my money back? I can't. I don't have any like power inside here. I mean, you can, you can send a message to Defaultio and let him know. You can report the person. But I mean... I don't, I don't have any powers in here, guys. I'm just, I, I really love the game, and that's what it is. Um, so I, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I'm like, there's nothing I, I, I don't know what to do. Message defaultio. If you have video proof or video evidence, um, you could stick that up and show my admins, and we could put them on the scammers list. We could do that. But other, other than going past my own Discord or that. It's not really much I can do. Uh, I'm so sorry. Anyhow, let's get to moving here. I need to grab stuff from underneath. So, am I in a position? Yeah, I can grab that one. There we go. And we'll just fire this up here like... Well, maybe. Hold on. Why is this not working? Hmm... Okay, stick this down there like that. There we go. There it works. Okay. And I am going to move these around just a little bit. Move you to right here. And then that means I can come out here and grab this one. We'll move it right here. Good. And this one. To right here. Sweet. That should be good, right? I think so. Maybe. It could be good. It could be good. <laughs> Alright. So, here was one of my thoughts um, on the uh, chop saws. Now, these are bigger than one unit. If we look at a single unit of wood, or a, a small unit, tiny tile, this is actually two tiles wide. So, by having these side by side and having them cut straight down, it would not work correctly. So, I'm just going to mark this, mark this off here, and we're going to off-center a chop saw by one. Okay, I think, no, it goes, goes one more right there. So, it is uh, two wide and six, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven long. Two wide, seven long. So that's the units. So if I take and stagger one like this, rotate, rotate, then I should have single unit chops in, in the middle. Like right here where these two blades meet, that should be a single chop or a, a one unit chop. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ideas. Ideas are happening. What am I thinking? I am thinking wedges. Close, all right. Um, let me try something here. Let me try something. These are seven wide, right? So that means right where they meet in the middle. Okay, okay. 
think, 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 think. Hmm. Okay. Okay, it is possible. Uh, let's go to three. Let's go to the wedges. Let's go to the wedges. Uh, four by four. Four, 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 four. That's a one by one. Four. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't. Ah, no. Wait. Will that work? Yeah. Should work. Be fine. Rotate, rotate. Like that. B. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So here's my idea. Take and place a wedge. Push. A, a one by one long plank into the wedge and have these upside down on the bottom side of the wedge and they uh, cut upwards instead of down. I would never hack all. Oh, well, thank you for never hacking. Um, but how wide are these? Let's see here. Let's move. These are four, four by four, so these should be four wide, right? One, two, three, four. So if we were to go right here, like that. Yes, yes. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling it. Would that cut through on the bottom? Hmm. Let's see here. Can I I can't place anything on top here. Well, maybe I can. Oh, sweet. Like that. And here. Let's move this one. Rotate, rotate. Like. Oh, come on. Is it not going to work off of that one? I'm trying to get it to attach to that wedge. All right. Let's hit B. Let's move this. Move you over here. Move you over here. And now this. We're going to have to move up some, aren't I? Hmm. There we go. Let's give it a little bit of playroom. Move this. <laughs> okay, rotate, rotate. There we go. Like that. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright, let's move this out of the way. You come here. Rotate, rotate. Stay. You. Move. Stay. Okay. So we're going to have to have this upside down facing up <laughs> all right so rotate turn turn like this okay can I oh gosh that is rough trying to place it okay I'm trying to attach it upside down <laughs> this is not working Correctly. Actually, can I just set them down? Here, let's just do that. Let's just set these down, and then I'll I'll place the wedges like on top of that. Hmm. We'll go rotate, rotate. We don't want them even. We want them one off. There we go. You see how they're like, yeah, yes, yes, coming together nicely. All right, let's grab this wire here. Move. We're going to attach these two here. Oh, gosh. I probably should do this, you know, down at the end of this thing, but 
if it works. Why not? I don't know where that uh, that switch went to. Like I had a switch. Let's move. And you come right here. Oh gosh. It's not gonna reach. It's not enough room. No. Okay. Okay. What, what am I doing? What am I doing here? We need to build. I need to build platforms. There's there's not enough room to, like, work here. Um. <laughs> so, let's uh let's do this for now. Let's grab this end piece. Move. We're gonna just slap this up here like this. Go. Turn. Good. That'll be my, my stopping point. Whoa, that did not work correctly. Hold on. Oh wait. Ah, is it too far out there? There we go. Move right there. Good. It'll be my stopping point. And then uh, let's go get some gold wood. Because we need we need gold wood before anything else. <laughs> uh. Alright. Uh, we'll just we'll just back up. Why not? Excuse me, excuse me. Coming through, sir. No fear oh. No no fear sixty. What's up, buddy? You wanna jump in? Oh no. Here, get get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. There you go, bud. Sweet. Hitching a ride. Uber. Do 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 do. Give me money, bro. Uh no. Get my money, bro. Oh gosh, is it gonna be one of those episodes? Uh, all right, jump out, and here we go. Chop, 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 chop. I should probably put uh, one of the chop saws at the other end so I can chop through these things. There we go. One piece of gold wood. One golden tree. Should be all I need for the whole episode. And away we go. Dude, no fear, are you coming? Where's no fear? Alright, come on, Purcell. Jump in, dude. Jump in. Come on. Come on. Come on, get in. There you go. There you go. That's awesome. Alright, and we're off. So, um, because we've got the power, it only takes like one tree to build like a billion things. You just have to grab it and go. Alright. By the way, I did not see any spook trees. If you guys see them on video, always make sure that you timestamp the time that you saw them. Like, put a time in there. That way I can go back through the video and be like, Oh man, I didn't see that. That was awesome. <laughs> you don't have to. I mean, it's really just for fun. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Alright. So, like, perfectly landed on the uh, the conveyor belt. Alright, are those one by ones? Yeah, those are one by ones. So, we are good. Off you go, buddy. Off to the races. Oh, the lag, the lag. <laughs> My nose is like just dying over here. Ugh. And that's okay. Got a little bit of cold and sniffles. Cough too cold. Somebody asked me today at work, they said, dude, is that a thermometer inside your cubicle? I'm like, yeah, why? They're like, are you sick? I went, no. Why do you have a thermometer? Um, just in case, that way if I do get a temperature, then I can go home. And they're like, oh. 
if you, uh, by the way, if you don't have a fever, and I don't know if this is completely true, but if you don't have a fever, supposedly you're not contagious. So like you're, you're past the incubation contagious phase. So always check to make sure that like I'm not running a fever. Because if you're not running a fever, then it's just a cold and you can continue on. You, you feel poopy. Like it, it's, it, everybody has the bleh, yuck feel. But and that's what I had today. It was a really good day. I mean, I had a great day at work. Um, I took medications with me, so I had medications. I was I was fine. So thank you for asking. If you were saying, "Oh, code goes to work while he's sick," I don't. I don't like getting other people sick, and I really don't like it when like I find out that other kids are going to school and their parents are letting them, and they're sick, sick, like they're brain fevers and stuff like that, because that puts my kid in danger. My kids in danger for having getting sickness as well so if you're sick stay home but if if you've got like no fever and you're non-contagious and stuff like that you can bear through it it's okay and also take your sick days like um <laughs> okay i know a lot of you are like a much younger audience but in the event like when you get older take your vacations take your sick days take your time okay there's uh, there's uh, like a billion hours of vacation time that was not used last year because people just don't take vacation. They they work too much, and even when they're on vacation, like they take work with them. Don't do that. When you go on vacation, it's good to get away. It makes you more productive once you get back. All right, we are going to start building some large floor tiles. This is, this is going to be like a crazy, crazy amount of builds. Is that guy stealing my wood down there? I think that, that guy right there. Let's, uh, let's see what he does. Maybe not. Maybe not. I could be wrong. Uh, okay, he looks like he's fine. I'll have to go back to the video and check, but, uh, what is up with scammers nowadays? Scammers and cheaters and just stop it, guys. Be nice. It's a really good game. I mean, it's a lot of fun. A lot of people have stopped playing and stopped recording videos on it because of the amount of problems that the game has. And I, I really, I really love the game. I, I don't want problems to happen. Okay, that's a, that's a good stack. Sorry. I'm getting in a down mood. And I think that's because my medications are wearing off. And I take cough medicines for right now. Not like on a regular basis. Ugh. Every day, cough medicine. Oof. It's rough. Alright, there we go. Got that. Look at this build. Oh my gosh, it's so quick. Code is so quick at, at building bases. Well, it's creative mode. Now all I need is a golden axe. We got gold wood, we got a gold swamp bridge. We're building out of gold planks. Got my gold headphones. Just need some gold axes. And a gold truck. And maybe a gold chop saw. Ooh, could you imagine a golden chop saw? Like all shiny. The golden chop saw award goes to Code Primate for his abilities in Lumber Tycoon 2 and persistence through all endeavors. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for this award. I have to thank everyone. You know, my mama for uh, getting me here today and... Um, Dad, thank you. Thank you all for the way you raised me. I remember the first time that I chopped a tree. It was the best feeling ever. I, I don't know. I'll just come up with stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's it doing? I'm flying off there. See, that was crazy. It's crazy. 
Oh, um, I wanted to start working on the um, the actual ramp down below as well. So, uh, how much time are we at? We're at 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me finish this out up here, and then I will go start working on some um, some Goldwood uh, wedges down below for driving up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to have to do something crazy, crazy style. Hmm. Okay, just need two more, two more. Yeah, here, let's just throw that in there. I know there's like two of them, but that's that's fine. All right, so those those are all good. Let me grab one of these. Come here, come here, you. Get off the edge, Geronimo. Okay, I need one more. Whoa, what was that? Did that just some somebody put it through and it didn't go all the way? Oh, dude, thank you. Uh, well, wait, is that me? Did did I do that? I might have done that. Hold on. There it goes. Now it's planking out. Sweet. 360. Nice. Nice. All right, let's get up here like this. All right, come on, drop. There it goes. Maybe, okay. So somebody said I need to use like the really small wedges to start off. So let's go clear this area off over here. I'm gonna make this the driveway going up to there, but we're not gonna be able to go straight there. So I'm gonna have to like give it some turns Oh my gosh, so much spook wood. It's amazing. I might, I'm, I'll have to use these. I will definitely have to use these. We'll make uh, we'll make some signs or like, yeah, we'll make a big sign. Oh, that'll be awesome. Okay. So, next project, coming to town. It's going to be the golden wood. Hello. Do you have cheated for this box? I do not. I don't, I'm sorry. All right, um, we need to back. Ooh, hey, there's a push button. Stick that on the wall. There we go. Um, let's, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's, let's have it right here. All right. That'll, that'll be good. Okay, so we need to, Move this, oh gosh. Move all the stuff out of the way. All right, hold on. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff, guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. Sorry, my son found some YouTuber at random and it happens every once in a while. And that's all he was saying. Like, that was it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Can you see this? Oh my gosh. I don't know who he is. <sighs> okay, let's just move all the stuff up on there on top. Here's another one. Come on. This isn't really the safest place to put these things, but we need them moved out the way. Move this one over here. Oh, come on, come on, and go. Oh, oh gosh. That's fine. That'll work. Uh, excuse me. And good. All right. And we need a Val's all-purpose hauler. Right there. Okay. So. Uh-oh. That's stuck. It's a stuck piece of wood. Oh no. Why is the wood always getting stuck underneath the things? Alright, there's only one thing to do. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Hold on. Let's do... On there. There it goes. No, not the spook wood. <laughs> it's okay. We'll save it. It's right there. It's like it never left. See? Alright, let's go ahead and grab this one. No, that one's stuck too. Alright, um, gotta do the same thing. Just do a large floor. Whoa! Well, hold on. How much was underneath there? I wonder. Alright, grab this piece. Slide it over like that. There we go. Now I can delete that. Oh, 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 no, I don't want to move. I want to destroy. And now these need to move up here. There we are. Just like that. Now, I don't know how much of an angle the one fourth wedge is. Or how easy it is to drive on. So let's just go with the shortest one. Is it the is it the one one fourth? One by four? One by four. I think it's the one by four. Okay. Oh no 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 no. Darn it. Alright, destroy that. Destroyed. All right, let's try again. Three, this one. Rotate, rotate, rotate. One, two, three, four. Excuse me, excuse me. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that too steep of an angle? What can we drive up? Let's let's ask that question. What can we drive up? Because mm. if if this is not steep enough, I wonder. Guys, let's do something. I don't know what she was saying. Hmm. Tell you what. Before I get started on a huge project like this, I might consult you guys and say, hey. What should I be driving up? Because I don't know. Whoops. Oh, man. All right. Let's go grab some of these. Um. Oh, I guess I should have built them over here because this is, this is where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's grab uh, let's grab this one, and I'll take it over there, and I'll just chop it real quick. Uh, what time are we at? We are at 28 minutes, so we still got a couple of minutes left. Um, I'm going to need to know the wedges. What's the the steepest one, the most logical one that you would want, so anyone could drive up the uh, the wedges. So like, you don't have to be a skilled pro to to go up wedges. You guys tell me in the comments down below. Because I need to know. There we are. There we are. Hold on. Hold on. Good. There's going to be a lot of chopping, by the way. A lot of chops. Just building up and getting everything there. Um, for a status update. Um, okay. So, with the, um, with the axes, I have boxed up five of them today and I went to go ship them and there's custom forms that I have to fill out for overseas stuff so I gotta fill out some custom forms and the reason I didn't get it shipped out today was because I literally got there like five minutes before they closed so and they told me oh yeah you have to have all these custom forms filled out everything in triplicate and these sheets and this that and the other and I'm like okay guys like this is not an easy process. I should have just gone to UPS. 
but I'll do my best with the United States Postal Service. I mean, it's... The lady was kind of mean about it. She looks at me and goes, Well, it's pretty much self-explanatory if you just fill out the form. I mean, you read everything right here. I'm like, Lady, I didn't have the form. How did I... <sighs> okay, fine. Can I mail a letter? Well, that's going to cost you 61 cents. Okay. 61 cents it is. Fine. I will I will pay you 61 cents to, to mail my letter. Versus sending an email, which could, you know, cost nothing. Could you imagine if you had to pay every single time that you'd... Whoa, 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 whoa! You'd be very careful there, sir. You almost had that thrown into a blueprint. Could you imagine if you had to pay 61 cents every time you sent an email? Or every time you sent a text or something like that? Well, okay, texting doesn't really count because they do charge you per text. Depending on your data plans, stuff like that. I'm just saying, like... United States Postal Service should pretty much just be a service, right? Like, don't we get taxed for that? And now I'm paying stamps on top of that? Just saying. I, I will probably not rant. I don't like rants. I don't like seeing people rant about things. Um, I feel very passionate sometimes about certain things. And I will, I will let you guys know about my passions. So, hopefully that's okay. Is that even? Even Steven? Steven's not here! Okay, sorry. Uh, Joe. Um, Elmy. I like Elmy. Elmy is, Elmy is my buddy. I toss Elmy around. Me and him would go play catch. Dude, I see, I see, I see, and it looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you for the spook one, dude. Thank you. Alright. So this looks like it would be pretty drivable. Here, let's go, uh, let's go grab a little car here. We'll just grab a little car. Come here, little car. Excuse us. Is this, is this pretty drivable? Oh yeah, that's... Oh yeah, that'll do. That'll work. So. What we'll do is we'll angle up that direction. And if we line up right here... Alright. If you draw basically a straight line... There's no way to slow it down. Hold on. Dude, your feet are like right in the way. If you look right here, if you imagine like an imaginary line coming from here, going all the way out and shooting that direction, I mean, you can see where this is going to land and that it's going to clear all the stuff below it. So there's there's nothing here that it's going to be in the way. Uh, that handle... Nope, even that switch is going to be... Okay. So like it would be right here here-ish so that's that's about where it's going to be crossing the line right there and it's going to continue up to right about here so what I'll do is I will make this completely drivable like you drive straight up there and then have a turnaround that's going to come back flat and then go up again so <clears throat> that should be able to to drive and that's what I'm going to do for you guys. And it should be good. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Sick Heath Haskins, Coal Primate. <laughs> for those of you that got that, that's that's funny. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those things that a YouTuber is supposed to call at the end. Because apparently I'm a YouTuber now. Um, you don't have to. It's literally, it's a call out. It's a call to action. So, hmm. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, I'm cool. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. If you'd like a, a shirt with my face on it, then check out the Hello Juniper link down below. It won't have the little logo because apparently that's too much for the company. Never mind. That's another rant. But that's for another time. I love you guys very much. I'm sick. <laughs> Outro.
wonder how many people watched it past the outro. Did you? By the way, yeah, I am going to be doing uh, No Shave November. <laughs>